All right, we're back to YouTube because I finished my new book and the rave reviews are trickling in. Wow, what an amazing piece of work. Your research is outstanding. Your reading so varied. Your source is unknown to most of the world. I'm reading parts of it with my heart in my mouth. Oh, sure, that's from my, my mom, but hey, she's her own woman. I don't tell her what to think. New Hibigon print. We are getting warmer, really warm, in pursuit of this fellow creature here on Earth. Getting hot. This creature that people think... They get this crazy idea that he just breezed in and, and then breezed out of here 40, 50 years ago. Nope. They're, they're always there. I did not see a Hebegon this time. Not yet. But I know a Hebegon saw me. Saw me, saw my family. We were in his eyes. My family was in his eyes. I'll show you. We made our autumn 2023 trip to Mount Heba. First day, meet up with Fuka and her friend Natsuki. Fuka, thank you. Thank you. How are you today? I'm good. Good. Thank Thanks for coming. Thank you. Oh, Beautiful day. Hello. Natsuki. Hello. I'm Kyle. Yes. Thank nice you. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yoroshiku. Yoroshiku. Thank you today. Thank you. Thank you. Are you the driver? Oh, yes, yes, yes. You're the driver. You're a good driver. Good. <laughs> you got here early. Good for you. <laughs> Have picnic and then enter the colossal solar calendar. That was our agenda. And later on, meet up with Ape Clerk Emeritus, Mr. Eggy. <laughs> Second day, probe the lost tomb of the Mother Goddess with an improvised camera rig on a long pole. Now, inside the solar calendar, fresh he begun evidence, also human evidence. Government humans, I think. I'll make a video inside the solar calendar. But we found this after we came back out. This is the same hill that goes up to the gorge and then over the river and then into the bowl-shaped area of the lines before they run up the mountain. The same hill with the upside-down tree and all that stuff. We were leaving the area when I noticed a tree snapped and balanced on its base. So I went over to have a look and found a giant butt print. B-U-T-T, butt. Two feet wide. Two feet. That is double, almost double, the width of my butt. And that would seem to fit with the handprint we found this spring, double the length and width of my hand. Two feet wide at the butt, how wide at the shoulders? And how tall? That's broken off and put there. That's balanced there. Mm -hmm. And that's to hide him. Now, this butt print has been in inspected by a panel of medical doctors in Tokyo. They agree 
here's the quote. Ah, tashkani, tashkani, oshiri desu ne. Tashkani, machikai nai. Dr. Woti, our veterinarian friend in France, inspected the photos and video. It is a very fresh Hibagon butt print. No drying had occurred, no drying of the soil. So this was extremely fresh. I think our fellow was watching the road, and when our car stopped and we got out, this guy just made space for us. He just moved off. The butt print was a good inch deep at the, the boniest part, also sliding slightly down the hill, so I think our man was here quite a while, shifting left and right, cheek to cheek, digging himself deeper and lower. A sentry. He was a sentry watching this side of the mountain. He began butt print. Okay, I sent out about 10 PDFs yesterday, the, lo the lost tomb of the mother goddess. Every donor to the expedition got one. If you didn't get it, please check your spam folder. I sent them to the emails uh, linked to your donations. And every donor has been put on a special list. Donors, you're going to get a, a copy of all my work going forward. It's just easier for me that way. That includes a bigger, stronger, hairier Hibigon Japanese Bigfoot, third and final edition, coming soon. That includes my next book, working title, Postcards from Babel. That includes a proposed book about my own experiences following the Hibigon, a sort of a field diary with reflections and analysis. And that includes a book I'm working on for young teens and up. No upper limit to this one. It's for, well, even for precocious elementary school children, maybe. Uh, that working title is Seven Stinkers from the Bible. And it's a theological and scatological work. I've invented a new genre, theological, scatological, that will get the attention of children and childish people like me. And everything I write and publish from now until I die. So if you want to get on this list, come on, make a donation to this channel and the research that we do, the butt print research. Don't be afraid. Every donor so far has made it to this forever list. The paperback, if you want the paperback, it will come out a little later. It'll, it'll have all black and white photos, though, and it won't be complete. It'll end outside the tomb. And here in these public videos, too, I stay outside the tomb. You better believe it. The PDF has a link to an unlisted video, and you might enjoy that. Okay, I'm going to make a few videos about our autumn Heba trip, and then I'll start reading Lost Tomb of the Mother Goddess, reading and commenting. Okay, thank you. Love you.